Hi everyone, this is Heather from WeddingsByHeather.com where my goal is to equip you with the best techniques and tips to make you a better and more efficient photographer. In this video, we're going to look at the adjustment brush inside of Lightroom, but first, make sure you check out all of the free resources available on my website. I have also included a link below to my upcoming workshop schedule. My dear friend Taryn from Blue Hippo Photography, there's a link below sent me this image recently and asked me what my thoughts were on the sun flare. I do like sun flare in my images, but we wanted to possibly use the dehaze slider in order to improve this photo. So when I brought it into Lightroom and I started to pull up on the dehaze, I thought, well, yeah, that is certainly removing the haze, but I don't know if I want to remove it completely. I thought maybe I would like to just lessen the impact of the sun flare on their faces, but keep the same amount on the background. So I'm gonna double click this slider back to zero and press K to access my adjustment brush. This dehaze slider within the adjustment brush will only be available to you if you are a member of the Creative Cloud. But what I'm gonna do is pull down on that slider. I'm gonna turn auto mask off. I'm gonna pull my flow down just a little bit. I'm gonna leave my density at 100. I'd like to make this brush bigger by using my right bracket key, and I'd also like to increase the feather. So I'm gonna hold down shift and press my right bracket key in order to do that. And then I'm just going to brush over their faces. <laughs> and, oh, and automatically I've seen, uh, whoops, I actually took the dehaze slider in the wrong direction. <laughs> I meant to take it to the positive. So I'm going to increase that slider in order to remove it. And what I I'd like to do is turn this brush on and off with this switch so we can see the before and the after. Now the problem is as I brush this over them is that I'm increasing saturation. It's certainly doing its job, oh, but it's impacting skin tone and I don't like where that's headed. But I do wanna keep the dehaze up pretty high. So what I'm gonna maybe do is pull down on the temperature a little bit just to get rid of a little bit of that yellow cast and also pull down on the saturation to make their skin tone look a little more normal. So let's go ahead and turn this off and then on, and I think that's going in a really good direction. The point of this video was to demonstrate the dehaze slider within the adjustment brush panel. It's really nice because you can apply it only where you need it. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.